Good morning. Well, actually, exactly now. It's um, afternoon because it's 12 one now. But good morning. Welcome back to another week in my life vlog. It is Monday, November something. I'll put it down there. But it's a great week because it's my birthday week. Um, this is officially like the last week of classes because next week is like our finals week. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I did some self-care this morning. I took down my hair so the curls are back and popping. Um, about to make some more coffee to head to campus for class. Um, it's a good week. So um, if you guys are new to my channel or you're back, welcome back. My name is Rudy Elizabeth. Um, I am in grad school. I'm a nerd girl getting her doctorate in pharmacy. Um, so um, if you like my content, please like and subscribe below. Um, it's getting to be holiday time. So I've got some cool things coming up for you guys. So please like, subscribe below and let's get into the week. It's 4.30, um, class ended at 4, well actually like 3.50, maybe 3.40ish, um, and I just had to stay in the classroom and just finish up a few things, uh, like start on the rest of the study guide that is for that PowerPoint, um, which you just saw in the previous clip. Um, since I'm out pretty early and I'm not feeling exhausted, I think I'm gonna go try to, I'm thinking of going to our gym and doing a treadmill workout. If it's crowded and I'm just gonna go for a walk around campus and stuff but yeah i'm thinking of going for a workout um feeling pretty good so i need to charge my phone though because my phone's about to die and i use my phone for music when i work out so um charging my phone now so probably will go for my run or treadmill at five so it's only 4 30 now so you shall see back from my workout um and it's about 5 40. oh yeah me she say hi hey yo hi mommy um I just did like a quick like 30 minute um like walk and run on treadmill at different paces and different intervals stuff like that um nothing like super super hard <laughs> but um now I'm going to make some dinner because I'm actually pretty hungry now I didn't really have a lunch today um since like my lunch was spent doing my hair and then I had to go to campus so I'm gonna make a dinner um and then of course sit down start working on some guides so yeah okay. for dinner i'm gonna make this trader joe's pasta uh, panea rabiata it's so good it's basically like a spicy marinara in panea that's all or <laughs> panea and spicy marinara yeah and then just a side of broccoli so yeah and it's so quick because like it literally just goes in a pan and then the broccoli goes in the microwave but i think i want to add like some garlic salt or something on my broccoli today so i don't know i might saute it i don't know we'll see um, an update um it is 7 48 um i totally had the intention of doing some good stuff y'all um i got i got my um presentation for tomorrow done so tomorrow i am presenting on my baby um my cat yami um so i have an elective called veterinary pharmacy which i talked about in my most recent vlog um so that is my elective this semester is veterinary pharmacy and it's been really fun really enjoyable um and so at the end of the semester we are doing a case study and um if it was something that your actual pet had or went through then you could present on that and so i presented on something that um yami was thought to have um so when i first met him he was like partially blind because he had a really bad eye infection um but it turned out it was just something they could correct with surgery and like cleaning but they thought it was a lot worse that, that was gonna be a corneal ulceration so i did my case study on corneal corneal ulcerations and felines um a real case study in ruling out feline entropion versus corneal ulcers in yami 
which is my child. So I also talked about this in my I adopted a cat video, which I will link in the cards above. Um, but yeah, I'm presenting on him tomorrow. Um, so I just finished that up. But then I got a notification that our school <laughs> was on the news. So um, of course I like dropped everything I was doing. I was like, huh? So uh, yeah, that was very interesting. Um, it was basically regarding like our like mini COVID outbreak and all that stuff. And um, there's much more going on, but we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna sued, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so ever since that notice, I have been on FaceTime <laughs> with like five different people about this. Cause like, it's just really, it's, I don't know. It's <laughs> interesting to say the least. So um, yeah, now I don't even know what to do. <laughs> to do <laughs> oh god okay so now i'm going to um maybe i just need to take a shower and then regroup because <laughs> i'm just done <laughs> good morning it is 9 26 tuesday morning i'm tuesday november 17th um i will admit i accidentally slept in this morning um my alarm was at six y'all and I typically will snooze, you know, do the eight minute thing, roll over, but I accidentally hit stop. And I woke up at nine. <laughs> so, yes, obviously I needed that sleep. Um, I'm a little stuffy this morning. Um, it's like 49 degrees here in Atlanta now. So I'm a little stuffy, gonna make some tea and head to campus. Um, today I have a presentation on corneal ulcerations in felines, um, specifically a case study over my kitty cat, Yami. So um, I'm going to get a little nice today. So I have this like silk tank top and I have a blazer I'm going to put over it. Don't worry. I'm also going to wear a coat while I'm walking to class. But I went kind of casual cool. So I'm going to do jeans and I have some loafers that I love that are super professional. So we're going to do that. And then um, I have a organization meeting at 12, which is the Georgia Society of Health System for Pharmacies, Pharmacists. And then um, actually I think that's it. Um, I have work tonight from 4 to 8 at the clinic, so I'm excited to actually get back. So, um, other than that, that's it. Let's get ready to go to class. Hello! Okay, so it is now 12. Um, my presentation went well. Um, they loved the cat pictures and the video at the end. Um, so that was great. And hearing everyone else's um, case studies on their actual pets. Uh, it turns uh, out we... Turns out we all actually did our case study on our actual pets. So that was really interesting because um, it was like a, definitely a personal tie. Um, so now I'm going to join a meeting for GSHP. Um, we're talking about specialties, um, pharmacy specialties. Oh my God, just put this down. <laughs> we're talking about specialties, which is like pretty interesting to me because I went to specialize most likely. Um, so I'm going to jump on that. I made some ramen for lunch and then um, I'll update you guys what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Hello. So um, I was going to go somewhere with my friend um, while I had no classes from 1 to 4. Ooh, it just got really dark. There we go. I was going to go somewhere with a friend while I had no classes from 1 to 4, um, but that just got canceled, which is fine. Um, it was just like, um, you know, chit-chatting, talking, catching up. Um, but um, I was already, I'm already dressed for work at 4, and I know that if I go home, I'm going to get distracted by Yami and wants to just like cuddle on the couch and stuff. So I'm going to um, go to the library now. Um, I just dropped off some figs that I sewed because um, I have two pair. So I just sold those and I, I have two pair of the same color. I have like seven pair total. Um, but um, just dropped that off. Now I'm going to sit at the library until probably 3.30 and then leave for work from there. It is 8.41. Um, I got off of work at 8. Um, Yami wants to say hi. <laughs> but yes, I got off of work at 8 p.m. Um, and I stopped by Chick-fil-A to grab like 
a snack on the way home because I'm not really feeling like a whole dinner right now. Although I did make dinner last night, so I do have leftovers that I could probably eat for lunch tomorrow. So we're good in that regard. Um, as I mentioned before, um, my clinic is staying open late on Tuesdays um, so that, you know, patients have better access to meds. Um, there are a lot of patients that work until 5. We close at 5 typically. So uh, my clinic is opening, is staying open to, until 8 on Tuesdays right now. And then start starting January, we'll be doing Tuesdays and Wednesdays until 8. Um, maybe in the future as we continue to grow, then yeah, we'll stay open to 8 always. But of course, as the student, and because I no longer have cl that class from one to four, um, I basically signed up for the four to eight going forward, um, which was really nice because as you saw, I got to study for a few hours and just get some stuff done. And then I went to work and it was like a really good study break for me. Um, and then of course, from like 6.30 to eight, um, there wasn't really much to do. We saw our last patient at 7.15. Um, so like, before then I was already kind of like finishing up a study guide and just like migrate, like um, combining it because some of it was on my iPad that I annotated and some of it I typed. So I was just combining that. Um, and then yeah, by by 7.20 I was done. Saw my last patient and got all this stuff out. Um, I had to fax over stuff for like patient assistance funds, stuff like that, but it was nothing super crazy. So like that last 45 minutes I uh, was on my computer uh, my personal computer not my work computer um just like working on my study guide um i feel pretty good because i've completed an entire study guide for a quiz i have tomorrow um and the study guide is not just for the quiz it's for the exam that's next week but we have a quiz over it um that topic tomorrow so i really wanted to finish the study guide today so i've accomplished my goal for the day um so now i'm going to um go over some drug cards on easy note cards or quizlet one of them and or probably both honestly i like i like both um, I don't know if you guys have used, have used easynotecards.com, but I really like them, um, and I like Quizlet at the same time. It's just like some, they both have their pros and cons personally to me. I'll, if you want a video on this later, then let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I like both. Both like provide different things for me because like, you know, with Quizlet, you can do the learn and you can do the write and stuff. And with easy note cards, they're just really good based on the person who made the note cards. I never make my own set. Um, I have a classmate who makes really amazing sets and I just basically use hers as my practice exams um, once I have solidified everything that I know. So easy note cards is really good for me right before my exam. So like if I've done studying on Saturday, all of Sunday, I'll just do easy note card sets and I kind of reinforce it with my study guide so like when I get an answer wrong I go back to my study guide and I'm like why did I get this wrong and I'm like oh okay I get it because and she, like the person that makes it she's really good at like tricking you so that's a good thing like based on whoever makes them and then with Quizlet I like to do my drug cards on them um so it just really depends but um yeah I'm gonna do that in bed now um put the curls up and yeah tomorrow's starts at the time is class nine so I'm hoping to get up at six. I did not do that this morning. My alarm definitely went off and I was just like, nah. But yeah, so we're gonna do that, hopefully. <laughs> but until then, it's gonna be cat cuddles and drug cards. <laughs> Wednesday, November 18th. Um, on the agenda today is a drug quiz from home today at 8.40, or technically not, you have to have it uploaded by 9.30, but they're giving us a password at 8.40. If you want, you can take it then. I just prefer to go ahead and take it. So, drug quiz at 8.40, and then we have to join the class via Zoom at, um, let's see, at 9.30, and then, and then we have to join the class via Zoom at 9.30, um, and then today is like the wrap up of this class. So the final is gonna be Monday. Uh, this class is called POP, so it's practice of pharmacy, but this is our third one. Yeah, this is our POP three. Um, so we're gonna be using our patient workup sheets that we have been doing all semester in um, SimLab. So I will show you guys that when we get to that. Um, and then I am done with that class at 11. <laughs> 
<laughs> and done with that class at 11. Um, and then it's PDN. Um, I think today is DEA diversion for PDN, which I think is really cool. We did. I went to this lecture last year for PDN. Um, I'm sorry, PDN means um, Professional Development Network. And so every Wednesday we have this one hour from 11 to 12 where we have different speakers, um, different topics etc like last week was about our professional pharmacy fraternities which i'm in so i was prior to go to that one and then this week is about dea diversion and uh, so we all know or if you don't know dea stands for the drug enforcement agency um so uh yeah um gonna be going to that because it's gonna be really cool because it talks about like pill mills um or like um, physicians who um, get paid to write medications um, for patients um, who are actually not really in their care. Um, so I think it's really cool because like that's something that's really important. I've already had a case where we had to call the cops on someone who had a fake script anyway. So it's very, it's very real. Um, and it's not just like a fake amoxicillin script. It's like, it was like 120 oxycodone. And this person was like perfectly fine like did not have a surgery nothing it was it was like very very sketch like the person was sketch everything the doctor sketch <laughs> like everything was wrong uh, so yeah i'm gonna go to that probably depending on how i feel after this class and then from one to four yeah one to four i have cns2 um today's gonna be a tbl kind of patient case thing we just finished up parkinson's Alzheimer's and other dementias so that's gonna be like a patient case thing today with a cool quiz that's gonna boost my grade um, and then from six to nine is my MPH program so um, I went pretty comfy today I got my Ivy Park over hood over size hoodie with some leggings um, today's gonna be pretty long so I'm definitely gonna try to eat some breakfast which I never do um, and yeah but I'm glad I get to start from home today so that's nice Okay, so I have finished my quiz, and this is the patient workup sheets I was talking about that we were using today in our class. So um, during SimLab, we basically go through our patient's chart, we get all the lab values, um, their HPI, which is their history of present illness, their chief complaint, their past medical history, weight, height, family history, social history, which is like smoking, alcohol, and illicit drug use, um, their meds prior to admission or prior to coming to the ER, um, insurance, vaccinations, and then of course we have like the patient's plan of stay and stuff like that. So I think this patient was like getting like an open reduction um, surgery. Um, so yeah, we do these each week in sim lab. So sim lab is a little two weeks. So we do it the first week of sim lab because the second week we get tested over it. So there's a total of five. I got five different patients. So we're using all of these today in our pop class. So I guess we're like, you know, wrapping up the patients or something. So, but yeah, these are what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> It is 12. No, it's only 11 13. Um, I'm about to go in to our cafeteria and do some work until 1. I have a class at 1 that I have to go to class for, even though it's on Zoom. It's stupid. I don't, don't ask me all. But basically, we're doing like team based learning case studies, but we do it through Zoom because we're all into like it's like 20 groups of six of us, and we have to like go to like different rooms on campus. And, but we're doing the whole thing on Zoom, which makes no sense why I can't do it at home. But whatever um i'm gonna go to our cafeteria eat my lunch and work on some stuff until one and then i'm gonna go to my respective room to sit on zoom from one to four <laughs> until four um so cns we did patient case on alzheimer's dementia and then we did a quiz and then we went into talking about drugs 
of abuse. We went in there, then we went to talk about drugs of abuse, which is really, really good. We started that. Um, and I'm pretty sure the professor that's teaching us this, um, his PhD was in like psychedelic like drug research. So it's really cool. So he's like good expertise. So putting these in the air fryer. What did I, did I tell you? Yeah, this is the original Freckle Wings. It's crispy vegan. <coughs> Crispy vegan sausage wings with a spicy buffalo sauce. It's the Field Roast brand. Yeah. Yeah, I am going to eat these quickly because it's 427. I have an MPH class from 6 to 9. Um, I can go there early because we have a TA in biostatistics that like goes over whatever we went last week and stuff before class and like talks about what's coming up. So I probably will get there early. Hopes of being there maybe by 515 um, and to get a good seat. Um, and that's about it. Class is good today. I feel pretty good about everything right now. I need to go over my Warfarin counseling for SimLab practicum tomorrow. Uh, we are going to be discharging a patient on Warfarin. And as I mentioned before, there's a lot of like ins and outs that goes with that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>so it's 9 49 just got out of sim lab um we had our final practicum today which was discharge counseling over warfarin you know talking about inr talking about going to the coumadin clinics um you know keep maintaining your vitamin k intake um stuff like that and then we did our order verification quiz so we went we go through like IVs and home meds and like inpatient meds and we verify whether or not they should even be taking this if they should be held if there's a contraindication if the patient has an allergy etc and then uh, also just like a in general lab quiz which includes calculations so um, dosage calculations ID calculations and etc as well as like um, just like over some basic principles um, and so typically all that is done over a span of two hours and then I would go to um, my compounding lab but that both of those are over so today we just had like that 40 minute interval of me quizzing counseling and then dipping so I'm done for the entire day until my class at 1 so I am gonna be I'm gonna go to the cafeteria and just like sit and work on some more stuff um, I didn't vlog last night because I was like super productive after class but after class I did um, my MPH class got at like 730 which is amazing um, hold on. And so when I got out, I made me a plant-based grilled cheese with some tomato soup, which was so good. That's probably what I'm gonna make for lunch today again, because it was so good. Um, and then after that, I, you know, finished up some counseling stuff for today. I call, I FaceTimed my boyfriend to practice counseling on him, um, which you saw in that one clip. And then I um, got in my room because so. On Wednesdays, I just like can't study at my desk after classes because like I'm typically in class from 9 to 9, y'all. Like I just cannot do that. I cannot sit at my desk after 9 p.m. on Wednesdays or after like 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. So I typically study in my room on Wednesdays. Like I sit in my bed, um, not on like not on, not under the covers. I sit on top of the covers. Like I don't even like unpack. I don't even like unmake my bed. Like everything is still in my bed. And I just like sit on there because my headboard is also a bookcase. So I could sit stuff on top of it and, you know, turn around and do stuff. So I worked on um, yesterday's lecture. Well, yesterday's lecture of the day for me. I break stuff up by the day. So yesterday I wanted to go over Parkinson's. So I went over Parkinson's yesterday. I did the entire lecture. Um, I made a rundown sheet on some illegal paper. <laughs> not illegal paper. On legal paper, which is like 11 by 7 or 7 by... 11 by 14 something like that and no 11 by eight and a half oh one of those and then I did a quiz so I did my normal study technique which is like after I've annotated everything and put all together I make a rundown sheet over the most important stuff and then I take a quiz so I averaged like 89 I think on my quiz last night excuse me so uh yeah it was really good so today I'm going to go over multiple sclerosis that's gonna be today's lecture so that's what I'm going to go over for the next few minutes while I'm with well, the next few hours while I'm in the cafeteria just get into work done because I know if I go home I'm going to get distracted I'm not going to do that um especially because I have my haircut later so I need to be productive right now so I'm going to do that I just went by the ATM to get cash for my haircut because this lady prefers cash I don't know why I don't care I don't judge um <laughs> but yeah I'm excited so yeah let's let's get on
uh, 8.16. Uh, I just gotten home from my hair appointment. I got my hair cut today. We took about, um, I think, I think just under two inches off. So this is it. I do not wear my hair straight at all. Like, if you know me, I don't wear my hair straight and this is why. I just don't like it past my shoulders. I'm not interested in it past my shoulders. But yeah, I got my hair cut for my birthday because it's in two days now. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, um, I brought my iPad with me to my hair appointment. And so while I was like um, drying and stuff, I um, finished up or fin got through um, some of a study guide for today's lecture. So that was very, very good. So I think I'm going to treat myself to either editing this vlog or... I could probably edit a little bit, yeah, and then still also do some work tomorrow. Do some work. So yeah, I might do that. Um, other than that, that's it. Um, I might go ahead and make some dinner. No, I'll make it tomorrow. Ooh, I have to eat lunch tomorrow. So I'll make my lunch tonight. I'm gonna make a, um, this like three cheese vegetable pasta bake that I have from Walmart. It's really good. If you know me, I don't really do dairy that much, but something like this, I don't mind. Um, because like mainly the pest, the, the cheese, it really isn't even that much cheese. Honestly, they played you with the whole three cheese vegetables. -y. It's not much cheese, but, um, um, I'm going to make that and so I can have it for lunch tomorrow and maybe even after class tomorrow until my boyfriend comes over and that's it. So good morning. It is 7.58. Um, so you guys know on Fridays I get to go to my clinic so everything's good everything's good now I know last week we had that whole COVID scare but everything's good so I get to go to the clinic today I'm so excited so um, I'm heading out a little bit earlier than normal because I get to get by like ah, because my girl my hunger she gets me a Dunkin Donuts gift card so I'm so excited so I'm gonna go get some Dunkin on my way in um, and my clinic has never ever seen my hair straight like I'm always encouraged like y'all like no one ever sees my hair straight like I don't I still do it but as I mentioned I got a haircut last night um, so we will see how that goes um, but I'm so excited it's Friday tomorrow's my birthday I'm so excited so um, yes on the agenda work lunch i made lunch last night so we we're eating lunch on campus right before class and then we have cns2 from one to four um this is going to be our last class of lecture i believe today is going to be the um pharmacology sorry the pharmacotherapy of substance abuse which just means treating substance abuse um substance sorry not substance abuse because that's not the correct term anymore y'all i just learned that so it's actually substance use disorder so it's going to be the pharmacotherapy of substance use disorders and we're actually pretty excited about this so um let's get on with the day Gingerbread latte with almond milk. I put my hair in a ponytail because it was getting annoying. I could have done gingerbread latte thanks to my homegirl. Hello! Okay, so it is 4.05 and my day is officially done. And it's been made because my friends surprised me with pre-birthday presents since my birthday is tomorrow, the weekend that we have to study for finals and stuff. So, um, it's amazing. Um, so I had work this morning, which is great i love my clinic so freaking much <laughs> and then i came i had uh lunch on campus um i made that pasta last night and then i um what did i do yeah i brought that with me i added some extra marinara like i said i like my sauce i like my pasta saucy and it's not, it doesn't have enough sauce for me did that and then i went to class and it's hilarious because no one here has ever seen my hair straight because that's how often like i just don't do straight hair and so <laughs> a lot of people were like did you just change your identity? And I was like, yeah, basically. So <laughs> that was funny. A lot of people were like, uh, you look like a whole different person. I was like, yeah, I've been getting that all day. But yeah, it's the end of the day for me. Um, I am going to enjoy um, tonight with my boyfriend and my kitty cat. Um, we are going to go get wings. I want wings. Like I never want wings like this. And so I want wings today for my birthday. Birthday. And so we're gonna go to downtown pick up some wings, probably eat them in the car, and then go by the Varsity and get a frosted orange. If you're from Atlanta, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, we're probably gonna like watch stupid movies, maybe start a show. Uh, we'll finish a show that we started on Hulu last week called A Teacher, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy tonight. Um, I've got, I've been pretty productive throughout the week, so I'm really hoping that pays off over the weekend. Um, my first exam on Monday is pop, and um, it's not that huge of a deal. So I don't see myself like 
really focusing on pot this weekend, mainly focusing on CNS. So yes, um, I'm gonna unbox my, well, I'm gonna show you guys my presents real quick, and then I'm gonna sign off. So let's look at birthday stuff. Also, Yami is just like, wants to say hi. Every time I'm on camera, this dude is like un underneath me. <laughs> So whenever you see that I'm like making a lot of movements while I'm talking to y'all, it's because he wants some cuddles and he's underneath me. Oh, I get that cuddle back. Oh, oh. <laughs> mommy, I you so much. Okay, so let's point out that I was not even able to carry all this to my car by myself, y'all. So like, this is my lunchbox. Well, the lunchbox is that little black thing right there. And then that's one bag for my homegirl Kenny. And these, this is from my big and my grand big. So um, if you guys don't know, I'm in Kappa Epsilon Professional Pharmacy Fraternity. And this is from them. And I'm just so excited. Like, oh. Like, my day has been made. My weekend's been made. My birthday's been made. So I'm just like so grateful to have, you know, friends in the pharmacy community. So farmily, haha. <laughs> I'm just so grateful. So now I am going to kind of like clean my apartment before Adam comes over and just like enjoy my day. I'm really excited. Um, I'm not, honestly, there had, there's not many Fridays and I'm actually excited after school because I'm just like, oh, great, I gotta go study all weekend. Like I get excited when like my boyfriend comes over on Fridays and we like do dinner and stuff. But like, I'm, I'm genuinely excited today. I'm not just excited just to see him. I'm like, excited because it's like, it's just been a good day and I'm glad to see my boyfriend. I'm glad to see my kitty cat. Um, and everyone's just been so great. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I'm going to sign off this vlog right here. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe below. I would love to have you guys part of my community. Um, that's all. I love you.